Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to do the sister episode to an episode we did just a little while ago in Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is talk about how to install snow mods so we can have snow mods at the same time as the ongoing Christmas event. Now if you already know how to do this in your game, you can just use the red bar for, ch for chapter navigation and skip ahead to our regular driving episode. But if you want to learn how to add snow to your American Truck Simulator game, you can follow along with this simple tutorial. Let's get started. The first, we have to do three things to be able to install snow into our game. The first thing we have to do is to download the right files. Second thing we have to do is to put them in the right folder on our computer. And then the third thing we have to do is activate them in the game. Let's take these things one at a time. First of all, let's get the files we need. To get the files we need, you'll see the site behind me. This is Grimes Mods. Now Grimes is a developer who makes a lot of different, wet, um, a lot of different seasonal mods for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator 2, and he puts them on his own WordPress site. So we're gonna have to find a site. I'll put the address to the link down below in the description, so you can just click on that, and it'll take you right to the site. Once you're there, you wanna click on the top bar here, which is ATS Mods, and now we can kind of scroll down, and these are the ATS Mods that he makes. The one that we want, of course, is here, the Frosty Winter Weather Mod, version 4.5, which has just been updated for version 1.43 of the game. If we click on that, here is everything we need. Now, you only need to download one file. You wanna scroll down here, it's got some pictures and some videos, stuff of it. You get down here to the download place. Now, you, if you want, you can get all the files, for, download Frosty for $1, you can do it right here. But we'll just do this part right here, it's pretty easy. Now, this is the only file you need, which is Frosty version 4.5, or whatever the latest version is for the latest version of the game. So we click on that and it opens up the share mods download thing. Then right in the middle here, we click this create download link. And then we just have to wait about 10 seconds for it to download, the, to start the download. And it's gonna start to download and drop the file right into your downloads folder on your computer. There it goes. And then if we could see down below, down below it's happening as it's popping up, letting us know that the download has started. So that's it. We just have to wait for the download to start. Now I'm going to close out. Let's go back here. There's other files that you might want to get, however. So that's the, the only one that you need. However, there's three other files that you might want to check out. The first one underneath this, it says optional add-ons, add -on, which is the download the heavy winter add-on version 4.5. This makes it even more snow, more fun, all kinds of stuff like that. So I'd highly recommend that you download that one as well. Then if you want to make the roads slippery in addition to snow, because the mod just changes the visual appearance of what you're seeing, but if you want to make your truck slip around a little bit and have more accidents and more great fun like that, then you want to download the physics add-on as well. Now there's also a lot of foggy weather in the winter mod, so you can download the no foggy weather add-on, which means that you won't get fog except in the mornings. Now I, I've downloaded all of these and we'll talk about how to install them, but basically once you're done with that, you're going to end up with four files in your downloads folder on your computer. I'll put the files right up here so then you can see them. You're gonna end up with Frosty ATS version, whatever it is, in this case for us it's 4.5, Frosty Heavy Winter version 4.5, Frosty No Fog version 4.5, and then Frosty Physics ATS version 4.5. One last thing, make sure you get the ATS versions of these files because there are Euro Truck Simulator 2 versions as well. So now we've got all the files we needed in the downloads folder on our computer. The problem is that's not the right place. So now what we have to do is step two. We have to move these files from your downloads folder to the correct folder on your game. Now, if you're using Windows, this is really easy. I'm not going to show this because you probably know how to do this, right? You're going to go to your downloads folder. You're going to find these four files. You're going to take them from there and you're going to move them to this other folder. And here's the path. It's going to be documents and then American Truck Simulator. And then inside that, there's going to be a folder called mod. And if there isn't a folder called mod, called mod, you can just make one, but it's probably going to be there. And then just put those four files right in your mod folder in American Truck Simulator. That's it. Now we've got the files installed and downloaded. Let's go in the game and activate them. Okay, step three, we have to activate the mods in the game. So from the launch pad, this is really easy. We're gonna go to the mod manager, which is the yellow button right in the middle of the main screen here. So now we're in our mod manager and here are the four files that we downloaded. So because we put them in their mod folder, the game picks it up on launching and we can see them. We've got Frosty Physics 4.5, 
the physics part of it, the slippery roads, heavy winter, which is more snow, no foggy winter, and the big one that we need, which is Frosty 4.5. So to install these in the game, we just click on the mod and we're gonna click on this right arrow button and move them over. Now, I don't wanna install the no foggy weather one. I'm fond with the foggy weather, so I'm just gonna leave it there unactivated for right now. But I do want heavy winter and I do want physics for Frosty. Now, a couple things, if you have other weather mods installed, you wanna uninstall them because they will conflict with this. And you can see that we have realistic, brutal weather. Now you, you probably don't have this one, but I do. This is a weather mod. So I'm gonna just click on that one and I'm gonna uninstall that one to make sure that it doesn't conflict with the winter weather mod. Now you might be asking, well, I've got three files in here. Does the order matter for these? Yes, you want frosty mod. If you've got other mods, you want frosty mod towards the top, excuse me, 4.5 towards the top. And if you have any of the other optional ones, like we do for physics version 4.5 and the heavy winter ATS 4.5, you want those to load before the frosty 4.5. So this on the right hand side that we can see is the correct load order for these and everything should work fine. Once we've done that, we want to make sure that we click down here on confirm changes on the bottom. And now we've correctly installed the mods. And if we've done all this right, we should be able to continue to our game like this. And when we come into the game, we should have a snowy winter wonderland for the Christmas event or for the rest of the winter, whatever you'd like. So let's go check it out. Hopefully things worked out well. This is telling me I've got some changes now. This is not a problem. I'm just going to take the latest version saying the, the been changes notified in your maws missing dependencies. We're going to continue. That's fine. It's all good. It's just telling us that the ones we we're depending on before aren't there anymore. It's going to drive right through. Okay. So we are in, let's just test it. If we click on drive here, we should, now we're in New Mexico, which we'll talk about that. It snows everywhere in the United States with this mod. So it's just winter all over the place. So once we come in here, we should see if everything went well. Here we go. We look around, let's push two. We are in a snowy winter wonderland. We have successfully added the snow mods to our game. Oh, and we just made some money. Oh, we just paid our loan. Gosh, we have no money in this game. Anyway, for that, for right now, now I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick up a ride, and we're going to go for a drive in the snow, taking us out of New Mexico. I feel like it's a little bit of a, an oddity that we have so much snow in New Mexico. So we're going north. We're going to drive up to Colorado. We're going to find us a delivery in the Christmas event. We're going to get started with that one. So let's go for a ride. All right, this one looks pretty good. I think this is gonna take us from Roswell. I wanna to go to Colorado for winter, for Christmas. So we'll explore Colorado during the winter Christmas event. And this will take us from Roswell, but when the game updated, it pushed us back to our home garage in Roswell. So I think the last event, last time we were together, we were in Hobbs, but now we're in Roswell. We're gonna go Roswell to Lamar. It's an eight hour and 21 minute drive. It's gonna pay us $31,000. The nice thing about the Christmas delivery events that they pay really well. So $31,000 will give us a lot. We only have 600 bucks. Because, yeah, we spent a lot of money. I did, in the meantime, one of the things, if you followed the last episode of American Chum, you'll notice that we took a $50,000 loan to buy a dumper car. So we have a 10 minute ride now to go to get a dumper car, a bumper car, and uh, then we didn't use it. But I did manage to pay off that loan real quick. So now we have, I think, a $10,000 loan, $100,000 loan, and a $400,000 loan. So we still, yeah, we still have a lot of loans to pay off. We'll get those sorted out. Our goal today is actually, if we can make enough money, we can pay off that $10,000 loan that we've got there. But that's neither here nor there. I'm excited to go drive in the snow, get up to Colorado and stuff like that, and check out the winter wonderland here. Back up. So we'll get going here. And I'll uh, we'll touch base as we get closer. Oh, so slow down. Let's go, truck. All right. Not sure what's going on here. Seem to be struggling to go forward. Well, I'll sort this out, though. To the right here. Not sure why we're struggling again into first gear. It's a little bit odd. There we go. All right, not sure what's going on with there. Anyway, we'll get going. We'll see you when we're ready to pick up our delivery of Christmas gifts. All right. <laughs> so we've been here for a while. There's a light right there, and it turns red, and it's a long light, and all the trucks back up in front of our building, and then more trucks come in. So I've been waiting here for like five minutes and we can't pull out. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm happy, really. Uh, it turns red again and we can't get out. We're going to be here forever. I think this, is, this calls for a creative solution.
buscando una nueva ruta. This, this is, don't try this at home. So these signs are usually, I don't see any other way to get out. Yeah, there we go. Nice, no damage. Now we're out of here. It's the only way to get out of our base. Now if we go this way, make a U-turn, possibly go wrong. Alrighty. Creative problem solving. We'll see you when we get to our pickup. Alrighty, so here we are at Sell Goods. Our trailer should be in here. I notice, I'm not sure if the American Truck Simulator and the Euro Truck Simulator Christmas event trailers are different, but this is a gorgeous one. I love this. The blue with the little town and the snow falling there. These are so cool. This is my, I think this is my favorite event, is the Christmas event was last year. The trailers last year were all the same, but they were really spectacular. These are standard trailers, but there's just so many different designs, which is fun too. So let's back this, get this hooked up, taking gifts to Lamar. Whoa. Ugh. The, it, it's, it is slipperier with this uh, mod right installed. So, okay, we're all hooked up here. Let's take a look. Oh, very cool. I'd like to change our trailer to here too, to make it a little bit more Christmassy. We'll have to do that. Not that Buffalo aren't Christmassy, but reindeer might be a little bit better. There is our trailer all hooked up and ready to go. We're going to take gifts to Lamar playing Santa. Let's get this on the road here. Now, I think we'll hit quite a number of lights as usual in Roswell. Roswell, again, might... Let's just say there's a lot of traffic lights here. We know that. I've mentioned it before. So we will get going out of sell goods. It takes longer to stop. To be aware of that. Yeah, especially, I've noticed, going forward. You really slide with this mod. So you have to give yourself more time to, to stop in the straight ahead direction. I, I think I mentioned in the your I, I thought that the mod, the physics mod, didn't make it laterally slippery as much either. But apparently it does, but I don't really notice that as much. Where I notice it is that straight ahead vertical stopping where it's you're just gonna slide for a little bit. You need more space to, to stop straight ahead. Oh, those trees are in the road, the ice on them and stuff. Mexico, not used to snow, of course. Gira la izquierda. We're gonna make this light. Let's get through it. Yes, nice. All right, around the corner we go. So we'll uh, we'll get going. But let's touch bases. We're in the highway. We'll talk about the Christmas event and other fun stuff, and we can chat in a little bit. We'll see you when we get out on the highway here. Eight hours and seventeen minutes to go. Correcto. No, 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 no. Ah. I'm sure you saw that we slid right through the light. This feels slipperier than Euro Truck Simulator 2. This mod, the physics mod. I couldn't, we just, glad there was no police officers there. I thought for sure at the very least we were gonna get a ticket, but whew, bullet dodged. We'll, we'll, we'll touch base as we get on the highway. All right, so we are about an hour now into our journey and uh, we can see we've got, it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Saturday afternoon here in New Mexico. We're making our way down this uh, two-lane highway, with a lane each way, kind of flying along. We can, s it, you have noticed, it is very slippery. We had to stop in for a way station a little while back, and boy, I, yeah, these the physics add-on feels really slippery with this version. So I do want to be careful that we don't go mushing into anything in front of us. I could imagine, you know, something pulls out, we're just going to hit it, but hopefully we'll be okay here. But we can see if we just take a look here, if we kind of zoom out, I mean, just how spectacular this mod is. Whoops, there we go. Let's see all around, we got the snowy landscape all over. Just done a beautiful job with it here. So just fantastic stuff. Just love taking it. This is, I think is my favorite mod, this this combination of mods here. Now, and when it gets the snowstorm, all the, the precipitation is snow instead of rain, which is cool. So just a really fun drive. I'm really excited to get up into Colorado we get up into some of those hilly roads with the slippery physics. And, and generally, the physics is kind of fun for a while, but after a while, you are going to hit things. So what I did that last year when I used this is I drove around with it for a while, and then finally I said, yeah, okay, that's enough. And then I turned the physics mod off, which is just a matter of you know moving it from the, the installed column to the uninstalled column. So uh, now we do have to be really careful about stopping here because I've noticed it takes quite a bit ahead time to not smash into the things in front of you. 
I've got the brake fully engaged here, and we're just kind of slowly sliding towards this pickup truck in front of us. But yeah, we'll keep uh, we'll keep going here. We got our Christmas ornament installed, our Christmas penguin. I wonder what kind of little uh, rewards you get for the Christmas event this time. This will be our second delivery, by the way, because we did one in Euro Truck Simulator. So this is the second one. You can cross by the you can, if you don't know that you can cross games too. So if you've got both versions of the games, it's 15 deliveries to do the whole event across both games. So this will count for our second delivery, even though it's our first American Truck Simulator delivery. But we'll keep uh, we'll keep driving along here. We'll check in in a little bit as we get closer to sundown, perhaps. The day-night cycle I know is shorter when you have the mod installed too, and you could manually tweak that if you wanted to. One of these traffic things again, huh? Well, we'll see in a little bit. Sun's going down behind us now. It's about five o'clock. We've got a little bit over five hours left in our journey, so about three hours down and five to go. You can see uh, just how beautiful it is outside here with this though. And spectacular views. Whoops. A little nervous on the single lane highway here that I'm gonna smash into something, but let's just enjoy it getting dark as night falls. I think one of the things that I really like about this mod is that it feels like winter, right? So you, you've just got this, I mean, you look outside and the blue and the cold feels so well done with this. I just love the color palette and how it, 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 it honestly, I mean, I live in Minnesota, which is cold and wintry. It's like this all the time for like four months of the year. And this totally nails it. This is what it feels like to drive in frosty winter conditions so really nice job by the developer of the mod and this of course is the latest version it just came out yesterday and it's been updated to version 1.43 so uh, fun to to get a chance to try this out i don't see any bugs or glitches but we can't stop again sliding right through the intersection uh, really gotta anticipate stops better but i mean this just looks like a winter landscape I, i'm hoping we get some snow i imagine maybe new mexico it's not going to snow very much because it might be using like the default precipitation for the game and new mexico it just doesn't rain that much right so maybe we have to go up into colorado but i'm hopeful that we could get like a colorado nighttime snowstorm heavy snowstorm winter pass like climbing up one of those that would be the coolest episode ever hopefully we can find one of those but i do love this feels like that frosty winter nightfall now we do need both gas and sleep and i haven't seen any i think we have only let me just check here we have two hours and 13 minutes whoops let's do that two hours and 13 minutes before we need to sleep and we're running out of gas too we don't want to do that in the winter time so i'm looking for a rest area but i haven't seen anything for the past hour and a half hopefully there's something up ahead here that we can we can take advantage of but we'll uh, we'll move on here and we'll head into the night a little bit Hopefully find a rest area and some gas and then wake up in the morning and, and finish up this delivery. So, so we found a, a little rest area off the side of the road here off the highway, which is perfect. And we are going to sleep for eight hours. The day-night cycle, I think I mentioned earlier, right, is, is different with this. So you get, uh, you get a shorter day now. So it's four in the morning. We're going to be driving in the dark probably for a while before the sun comes up. But we'll get back on the road here and we'll keep driving along. About halfway done with our journey now. Take a little look here, though, at kind of the snow mod at night, which is this is ultimate winter driving conditions, right? I like too how it's harder to kind of identify the road. And I did see on the mod developers page a lot of people requesting for this mod, except for clear roads. In other words, you know, the roads have been cleared after it snowed and stuff like that, which is I think that'd be kind of nice to have. I, I don't mind this a little bit. It feels a little bit more kind of rugged and tougher and more challenging and stuff. Why is the speed limit? There we go. I'm not sure why the speed limit was 25 there, but now we're up to 75. But I like this driving at night, just the darkness. This is cool. It's snow all around. Fun times. We'll keep moving on. We do need gas though, badly. Gira a la derecha. Continue a la derecha y continue recto. <laughs> we slid right through that stop sign. There's no way I could stop. I am so glad there were no cars coming. Let's go. Ah, come on. We're gonna hit the light army. That was lucky. It's slippery. Snow is slippery. 
Well, let's stop here. This is actually about two hours and 42 minutes left. We just pulled off the highway now to head up to Lamar. We are in Colorado. We got new mail. And we just spent a thousand. What? 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 Why did we lose a thousand dollars there? What does our mail say? Let's check that here. What the heck? What happened? Um, how do we check our mail? Email. If your account is overdrawn. You withdrew more money from your account than was available. But but why? Why why did we just suddenly lose a thousand thousand pounds here? Thousand dollars? I mean. It's seven o'clock on Sunday. What possibly could have cost us a thousand dollars? It's got to be Ahmed or Jenna Kay, right? I haven't seen Ahmed make any money. Did they just not get a job or something? Ugh. So now instead of making us, instead of making us zero money, they're just costing us money. Is that what's going on? Because sometimes if they can't get a job back from the destination they're in, they get charged for gas and, and stuff, maintenance and things like that. So maybe that's what happened. Continue la derecha. Not happening. We, we need to look at them. We got a red light here. We can check on them now. I mean, Jenna K made eleven thousand in the last episode. I've decided. I think I want to make kind of an experiment by the red light violation. For, we're okay. We are not through the red light. We're, we're behind the red light. How? I like. I like. I like this game. I'm not. I'm not upset at all. We're gonna just check here though to see what our drivers are doing. Driver manager, where are they? Ahmed, let's look on the map. How do we see the map here? A map view, here we go. So Ahmed's down here. What's he doing? Hazardous cargo, training policy, hazardous cargo, that's fine. On duty, stop to rest, so he's not doing anything. And he's carrying empty pallets, one of the cheapest loads you can possibly get. Janet Kay, what's she doing? Tires, okay. Finishes in 48 hours. Why does it take her 48 hours to get there? Ugh. One of the things we're going to do at the end of this episode, too, is we're going to um, free up our trailers so that they can be used by Jana Kay and Ahmed because we're not using them right now for the Christmas event. So that will actually help them. But, yep, it's daylight now. And we have some morning winter fog. And this is what the, the mod mentions, too, right? Is that the weather can be... There's a lot of fog, apparently, in the winter in this mod. And especially in the mornings burns off as the day goes on and you can put that uh, mod addition in there to reduce the amount of fog that you have in the game but I'm fine with this the way it is. I am kind of excited to get up into Colorado because I think there's going to be more precipitation and I did see a slider in the game too where you can adjust the amount of rain you get in the game so I might take a look at that too and tweak that a little bit because I'd like to see a little bit more snow while we're driving in this winter mod that would be pretty cool. But yeah, about two and a half hours left. Jana Kay and Ahmed are not making us any money. We are now over $1,000 in debt. $700 for a red light that we didn't run. And $1,000 just mysterious fines for for whatever reason. We had to pay $1,000 even though we just didn't do anything. So, But we're going to make $30,000 on this. And that is a good thing, right? The Christmas presents make you a lot of money. They're a really high paying job. So not only is an event and you get the event stuff, whoa, but you also get to make uh, quite a bit of money here with these. So $31,000 for an eight hour delivery is pretty good. That's up there with like vaccine level kind of stuff, and dynamite level kind of delivery. So here we go, we'll take this. Cows are out in the storm. We have not been to this part of Colorado. We haven't really been in much of Colorado at all. So it's gonna be kind of fun to explore it. Wow, that fog burned off fast, didn't it? Now we get daytime, 7.30 sunrise. Colorado landscapes. This should be fun. I know a lot of people say this is their favorite DLC. Christmas event, DLC, Colorado DLC, winter mod. It's going to be a good couple of weeks here. And I will be going on break from work starting in a couple days, so I'm hopeful to get out more episodes during this time. Always a mix of kind of the, the other games that we do and war gaming and stuff like that. I'm going to try a couple other things too, but hopefully uh, you know, at least kind of three episodes, Zero Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator a week during the break here. Maybe four if we can. Because I love driving the Winter Mod and I love driving the Christmas event, which is really fun. So we'll keep uh, plugging along here. Oh, it feels good to drive. We've got about an hour and 53 minutes left. We'll check in as we get closer to our final destination or perhaps just take kind of a an enjoy the scenery moment here at some point. See you back in a little bit. 
one last look here at the winter landscape as we're driving through Colorado. We got about 40 minutes to go to Lamar. Better get back on the road here. Uh, <laughs> still have trouble, but almost there. We'll check in in a little bit here. I have been sliding around. I might uh, drop the physics mod a little bit faster than I was anticipating because it's, it's really hard to stop, especially if there's some downhill. All right, so we've been in Lamar for a while. We hit all the traffic lights, of course, and then got stopped by a train. So it took us a while to get across the town here, but we're at the Walbert now, which makes sense for a place to deliver Christmas presents. In like the middle of the lumber yard in the middle of the woods in Innsbruck and Euro Truck Simulator 2, this feels like a pretty logical place to be dropping off Christmas presents. I hope we get a 90 parking. I'm up for a parking challenge here. Let's see. This, I don't know if we've parked that much in Colorado. Some states, I feel like the difficulty varies a lot by states, too. So kind of curious to see what we get here at the Walbert. We should be there momentarily. Just turn in here. Ooh, this kind of feels a little bit challenging. Depending on which way we have to take it here. Let's just stop right here, see what we got. Enter. 40. Uh, but sometimes the 40s are hard. Okay. That doesn't look like it's too bad, right? We should just be able to pull down here, go around to the right. The nice thing about this is it'll give us $30,000 or 31. We can pay off our $1,000 debt and then pay off our $10,000 loan, which we consolidated from the $50,000 loan. So starting to kind of get rid of our debt payments here. And if we hurry up and park, we could probably pay that before lunchtime when the interest payments are required. So that would be a good thing to do. Oh, this looks pretty straightforward, right? I'm just going to back right up inside this. Oh, this is one of the ones where you have to go right between the walls, so you can't make any mistakes wide. So let's just get this nice and straight. Right here. I think we can just pull it straight back if we do this correctly. Let's get our out the window here. Okay. Pretty good. That's going to be fine. There we go. We are in. So delivery made. Christmas presents parked in its little secret spot there to be unloaded in the Walbert, and we are here. First Christmas delivery. In, first Christmas delivery in American Truck Simulator. That gives us two for the event. Thirteen more to go. So still a lot of work to do in the Christmas event. Twenty-five thousand dollar, three thousand dollar long distance bonus, two thousand five hundred, thirty-one thousand five hundred, and yes, we've hit level seventeen. Excellent. So maybe something we can upgrade on the truck here. We've got all our hazardous cargo, all long distance. Let's do high value cargo. I guess we alternate between these. Justin, oh, let's get a point in just in time delivery. For the kicks of it, we haven't got any of those yet. So. There we go. Anyway, that brings us to the end. We've got $20,000 now. We've installed the snow mods. We've driven around in the snow. We've made a Christmas delivery. Two down, 13 to go. Let me know what you think. If you're trying the snow mod, how are you doing in the Christmas event? And we'll see you in the, the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. If you have enjoyed it, uh, likes are greatly appreciated because that helps get the channel in front, get the videos in front of more people. And if you're new, please consider subscribing as about uh, 30 to 40% of the content on the channel is American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. So have a great day, everybody. Happy holidays, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.